Let's talk about Curator and Palo Alto integration. This is a use case that was provided by Kevin Caro from uh, Nexus. So we have seen in the previous videos that it is very easy to configure your Palo Alto device to send logs to Curator. And also we show how you can send NetFlows to Curator as well. Also, Curator gets logs and flows from other endpoints devices. Uh, you name it, uh, you got BigFix, you have uh, Symantec, FireEye, uh, McAfee, whatever endpoint is feeding, you know, thread information about what's happening on the network uh, to, to Curator. Curator is also monitoring the baseline of users, what risky users are doing by virtue of the UBA app uh, that also uh, feeds information into it. It analyzes the proxy logs from Palo or from uh, if you have a separate proxy for the, the traffic uh, going out. Uh, so it can determine with the app analytics uh, component which people are actually doing risky things by going into sites and, and, and applications out there that they should not be uploading stuff. You know, uh, but also, Curator gets a threat feed from the X-Force that talks about AP reputation and classification of the sites. And we have seen in other videos, and we show some of it uh, later here, via uh, Stick and Taxi, Curator can receive threat information with many thousands of uh, bad IPs and URLs that people should not be doing. So, well, so armed with all that wealth of information, no wonder it is easy for Curator to fire an offense when a particular incident that we don't like about actually happens. So now, typically when we see an offense happening, what uh, the Palo Alto uh, uh, or the curators or the combination of the two administrator will do is that he, uh, he or she will require access to the Palo Alto GUI interface or the console to actually go ahead and when I find a bad IP, let's say I have an IP that is coming from the outside that I want to block all the traffic because what it's attempting to do is not good for the for the company, I need to go into the Palo console and, and define, you know, uh, specify the policy that says block that, that uh, particular IP and then I need to do a commit, which uh, it takes a few s seconds, it's not that lengthy, but it can have some p impact on the performance. So some people may not like this approach. This is manual and, and, and it can have some, some implication. Let me show you a better way. What Kevin has uh, shown us here is that it is uh, actually very easy to have a an offense feeding a reference set in Curator, putting right there automatically from the offense the bad IPs that are trying to attack our enterprise. What we also did is we created a, an entry in the cron table for a job that every five minutes goes ahead and copies the content of those IPs into a text file in a particular location where via with access via HTTPS Palo Alto can consume that data. And then we have a policy in Palo that again, uh, every five minutes goes and picks up the data from this file and actually automatically blocks those type, th those IPs from, from attacking. So this is a fantastic way because not only, I mean, Palo can consume some thread information, but typically in the low thousands, while via a stick and taxi, normally curator can get, you know, hundreds of thousands of, 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 of 
multiple type of information. They don't have to be just IPs, might be URLs, might be some other type of thread data. And with all these sources of information, it can easily find about IPs. Good. That's what it does best. And, and it can tell Palo, Palo, block these IPs, and that's what Palo does best. In the next video, we'll show you all the details on how you can set this integration up.